Hey everybody, Adam here. It is October 4th, 2022, and I'm here quickly to talk about access holes and the point of making them versus not making them. I have a four foot wand here in my hand, called that because it measures four feet. So this top one here is from Hyundai, and I can probably get my tool in there, and I can probably spray up and down. So I will use that. There's no need to make a half inch access hole like I did there two years ago up here because you can use the existing access holes, right? Now I use my access hole, half inch access hole. I made that two years ago. I can spray the product up and down. So then getting into the quarter panels, you have a question is your question is how do you get in there? One way is to take out the taillights. Another way is to make a half inch access hole. I like to follow that seam, that crease in the body right there. And let's check out how that behaves when I put the wand in there. So now we've covered both of the door panels. We're at the quarter panel if you're paying attention. And this is the point of why we drill these access holes. And I'm, when I'm done, I cap them. You can hear, you can hear that this wand is reaching all the way to the end of that quarter panel. As far as the fenders go, you can reach them with this same four foot wand going in from the door jam here, which is one of my favorite things to do going that way. You can also go from the front of the fenders facing forward. So now we've covered, see that? Right through there. And you're, you can even hear it. You're in the fender. So what is left? We've covered the fender, the door panels. Now we're at the rocker panels, right, of the Hyundai Santa Fe. Again, I am really confused when I see guys who drill access holes beside easy to remove rocker panel covers. I understand complicated to remove rocker panel covers, you want to leave those. But if it's easy to move, remove, you just stick a screwdriver in there and pop it out, try not to scratch the paint. Then you have all that access right there. You have an access hole right there from factory. Sometimes you can even remove the wiring grommets that uh, feed the door. Same thing there, so that is the rocker panels covered, quarter panel. What's left is the hatch. Here we have, uh, I don't know why this thing has a spoiler, but spoiler, bolt hole, access holes, wiring grommet holes, and then the door stopper holes. So you don't really need to drill anything in there. Just put in a uh, hook wand or a tube that floats around. So I am not opposed to taking out tail lights, but now that you've seen how I do these Santa Fe's with one access hole right there, then uh, now you can see that I don't need to do that. I can make holes with a bunch of different things. This is a half inch step up drill bit. That's one way to make a hole. Another is with an Arbor Press and a Rotor Brooch half inch tool, which is my favorite. You got a pilot. And then you have the roto brooch half inch drill bit there that makes it real quick and um, makes it easy peasy. As far as the hood goes, you know, there's so many access holes already from the factory that you really don't need to drill anything. And if you did, you have bigger issues. <laughs> well, the top of the struts right there, I take the, uh, the caps off because those should be nice and lubed up inside of the fenders. Top of the frame, you can see here, of the, the frame rails. So I like to uh, take apart the, end, the rad cowling if I can. In this case, the cowling uh, is being difficult, so I'm probably gonna leave it on without having to remove it from the front bumper. So I'll just spray around and through all these holes. Fun stuff. And that's a little rundown of how I think a certified rust check technician. That's how I think about access holes and looking for ways to get into the vehicle first before drilling. I've been doing this over 20 years and if my customers say they don't want access holes, 
then I write it down on the bill, customer requested, no access holes, and I don't do it. But that's me. Come see me in Niagara. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.